bum 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 I'm sorry. I can't do acapella. Sorry guys. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Bob McVantrides. Yeah, hey, what's up? Please subscribe, like and share this video. Welcome to an awesome new, awesome, awesome new movie review, which uh, Pitch Perfect 2 came out on May 15th. Um, that was a couple of weeks ago. So yeah. Boom! I got awesome. Yeah. It was really good. Brilliant. Awesome. Wicked and funny at the same time. Better than the first one. Yeah, it was a really good um, movie. Yeah, and awesome. I do the videos. My best bits. I do all the videos in it. The best bits uh, were the ending, Bumpers audition for the voice. She got a got a, a picked um um he got picked um a he picked um I can't believe it. He picked um Christina Angela yeah as the coach on the voice in America. Yeah, it was a really good awesome video epic wicked and epic at the same time yes um after this uh, yeah yes um yes a sequel had the sequel had been announced well um yeah um on may the 11th 2015 um a month before the release of the second film it was announced that Robert Wilson will return for a fourth, third film or friend stated that she she did not know if Kendrick or any of her other cast members would also reply to their roles. She added that she would be up for a fat Amy spin off. Enough and nothing has been confirmed. Director and star producer Elizabeth Spanks. Um I could have mentioned the possibility for third third film saying I will say it will be disgusting to say there's no no one's talking about a pitch perfect three and possibly we are focused on getting many butts in seats for this one and if fans and persons are going to seriously think about what the country and journey would look like and we don't know what is yet yeah it was a fantastic film brilliant awesome brilliant and fantastic i'll read the plot in a bit um <coughs> spoilers ahead here yeah. Um, directed by Elizabeth, ba Elizabeth Banks, produced by Elizabeth Banks, Paul Box, Kay Callan, Max Hempton, Jeff German, Jess Jason Moore, um, written by um, written by Kay Cannon, um, music by Mike and the, and the Underdogs, cinematographic Jim Durban, edited by Craig Empton. You hear? You hear? You hear? Yeah, it was a really good film, fantastic at the same time. And yeah, cast. Boom. The back. And Kendrick, Weber Wilson, Brittany Snow, Esther Dean, Alex Kepp, um, Helen M. Lee, um, Kelly Junkin, Shelly Reggie, Helen Haley, Stanfield, Christian Fitt, Scarlett Esther, Adam D. Fine, Penn Black. And um, Tam, Bram Bork, Virginia Henson and Slurs, Patrick Shed, Kellen Michael Key, Elizabeth Banks, Joe Michael Higgins, David Cross, Reggie Yates, John Kuhlman, Jesse Jones, and Joe Jen Tunga, Kevin Lewin, GJ Perry, Robin Roberts, Sean Carter, Petson. Snoop Dogg, Green, uh, well, the pain in sales, Kay Matthews, David Banker, um, Don Brunson, Josh Clinton, TJ Lamb, Jordan Washington, Blake, Sterling, Christian Elder, Pharrell, Adam Liff, half camera cameos as themselves, Phoenix, Ben Brunson, and Flock Mulder. 
yeah, it was a really good film. Yeah, lots of cast, but I will put it down below if you didn't hear me. Yeah, it was a really good film, fantastic and brilliant at the same time. So yeah, here's the plot from the film. Yeah, it was a great plot. Two years after the events of the first film, the Bond brothers, led by Becca Mitchell, performed for the President Obama's birthday until Fat Amy's almost in airlifting solo goes away. The cabaret commands and John Smith and Gavin Lampton and Fred Fred to suspend the bells from the performing in a cabaret showcase. The bells then strike a deal with the companies that they will group not this band if they will win at the World Cabaret Tournament. Becca starts an internship at a record studio that only her boyfriend Jesse Swanson knows about. When her boss fed over Snoop Dogg's into the Christmas record, Becca impresses him from going to the beat player at the Christmas smash up. However, Becca's boss is later disappointed that none of Becca's recording work is original. Fat Amy soon confronts Becca about hiding her internship with the record of the group. Amy herself on a secret date, rejects Bumper's proposal to be his girlfriend and leaves him heartbroken. Freshman Emily Junk, played by Helen and Stanley Helen Stanfield, stops by the Bellies house to audition. She submits after the bells, then Emily's the legacy bell, due to her mother being a bell, Bella Lum. At night, the girls part with the Troublemakers, yeah, Troublemakers where Benji um, becomes infant with, interactive with Emily. The Bellas later attend a car show, then would have performed at, to their replacement dance on machine, a German group lead by into Petron Corn and um, Kuzma. Yeah, um, I will go back, I will do the last. Um, so to say, yeah, the finale was good, unlifting and heartwarming as well. When and um, the bell, the new bells, and um, Barn Bellas and the old Barn Bellas as well, which was brilliant and awesome at the same time. So, on the continuing synopsis, the bells receive an impetus for a group of riff off, where they find the troublemakers, the other cabaret um, groups with downtrodden machine. Warm the bells loose to the finals after Emily tries to insert an original song. The next day, bells put a performance as warm up for the world. I'm going to the M style and it ends in disaster when Sherman Rose's hair catches on fire by dramatic and disheartened. And Curry decides to take the bells to which are led by a former bear leader, Abram Posma, played by Anna Camp. In the hopes of helping the Bells get the sound back, Becca's um, frustrating and over friend in the camp exercise causing arguments between the group and some over the religion of Becca's plan for the future beyond Barden, which climaxes Becca in a trap in the net. Yeah, I'm funny. That night, Bells calm down around the campfire and each other confessing to the face for help in the beginning. Uh, Harmony singing cups before pushing the fat enemy on her a few times, which of course is her realize she realized her love for Bumper. The ba ba and the Bells harmony to graduate Bell or um, records and remakes Emily's original song and they show it to Becca's boss and who experiences improvement. The group finally heads off to cover for the worlds of Justin Benji who Emily kisses before going on stage. Then Bells perform mashups reaching other Bells, including Avril and Catherine, Emily's mother, and ultimate win the competition. In the mid-20s, Bumper performs on The Voice and offers turning all four trains around and chooses Christian um, he's met, um, mentor. Yeah, it was really good and funny. Uh, yes. Um, 
yeah the songs were brilliant awesome fantastic and brilliant the plot was brilliant and awesome and Akka wicked as well I've been doing that Akka wicked Akka awesome Akka fantastic Akka screws me and Akka wicked yeah then yes Pitch Perfect 2 it was brilliant fantastic funny better than the first one and awesome at the same time so the verdict of this fantastic film um, I'm going to give it 9.5 out of 10 and a solid B solid A plus because it was really good and awesome at the same time so on top for this review guys subscribe, like and share and see you in a bit for iZombie bye oh yeah the flashlight song was good as well by the history I'm a flashlight, a flashlight, who won this mother? Girls. Yeah, guys, I gave it 9.5 out of 10 and an A. Bye.